Hello everybody, welcome to Apostolic Gatherings Network and teaching on my book, You Have Diversities of Gifts, and we are on the um, Power Gifts, are you on right there? Welcome Facebook, um, Instagram, um, this is Charles Barnett, and we're teaching on You Have Diversities of Gifts, we've already covered the um, Revelation Gifts. Uh, if you missed it, it's on, uh, you go to my wall, it's on, um, or my page, my Facebook page, you have Diversities of Gifts. Um, you can go to my uh, YouTube channel, CWBJR, the number one, and, and their teachings are there. Okay, and we're going to talk about the power gifts, and let's go ahead and read some scripture. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 9 through 10. To another faith by the same spirit, to another gifts of healing by the same spirit, to another the working of miracles. Today we're going to talk on the gift of faith. Now, we're going to kind of cross over some of those gifts just so you can understand. But uh, we're going to try to go uh, uh, delve into the gift of faith the best that we can so we can understand how important this gift is. Like we learned with the revelation gifts that the one that people focus on the least uh, was the most powerful, the most descriptive, and probably the most important of the revelation gifts. Uh, and you have to go back and, and look at it and, and, uh, to, so that you can learn, learn what it's talking about. Um, we're going to talk about the gift of faith today and the gift of faith. But first of all, the gist of the power gifts. The power gifts provide us the ability to meet the needs of people through divine power and intervention. The, this divine power makes the impossible possible and allows us to experience healings, miracles, and the supernatural realm of God's spirit. Okay. Now, when we talk about the gift of faith here, let me nail some things down about faith because in times past, people have segregated faith or taught that there is different types of faith and there is not because the bible says there's one lord one god one lord one faith one baptism and so this one faith is talking about the faith in christ jesus our lord it's an all-encompassing faith some people say well other people have faith to be saved but they don't have faith to be healed no there isn't a, uh, this person has faith to be healed, and this person has faith to be saved, and, it, and they try to break it all up, and it's not. It's just that there's one faith, and we've got to delve into the many facets of that one faith, and get into the great many dimensions of the one faith. There's only one faith. That's why the Apostle Paul says, he goes, I live, in, in Galatians chapter 2, verse 20, he goes, I don't live on my own. I live by the faith of the Son of God who gave his life to me. Those I live by the faith of Jesus Christ. It is God's faith. His very faith that is infused in me caused me to believe. And now that's how I walk by faith because I'm walking in his faith. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. It's just that we need to grow in our faith. We talked about that last Sunday. We can't stay a small mustard seed. We've got to grow into a tree. There's many facets of faith. There's faith to live right. There's faith to obey God. There's faith to flow in his, his, uh, the character and the fruit of his spirit. It's the same exact faith that believes in the supernatural and the miraculous. It's the same faith that helps you stay right with God, that helps you experience a miracle, signs and wonders, miraculous things. Okay? So we got to embrace faith. One faith. You only need one faith. You don't need many faiths. Just one faith. Praise God. That's why the Bible says without faith, it is impossible to please him. It doesn't say faith with an S. Without faith, it is impossible to please him. For those that come to him must believe that he is. That it's all about him. That he can do anything. And he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. That's in Hebrews 11, 6. So, Let's talk about what is the gift of faith. And I'll, I'll, I mean, I've experienced God do some miracles, I've, uh, some, you know, unusual miracles. And I have the gift of faith. You know, we've taken find your gift seminars, you know, and some of those are good and some of those are not even close to good. And uh, especially if they're not 
apostolic in origin, you know, they can confuse you more than anything else. Um, but uh, I've always come out strong in the gift of faith. Um, God has done great mighty things that it's only by the gift of faith that they've done. I remember one time there was a person seeking the Holy Ghost and I was about, you know, about a good 10 feet away from them. And uh, the, my friend who was watching me, he said I was, I was looking at them, just staring at them. And there was a person on each side of this person helping them receive the Holy Ghost. And he said, and I looked at them and I went like this. He said, you went in the name of Jesus. And he said, you did your hand like this. And then you turned and walked away. And he says, he watched me walk away. And he said, and he felt the wind hit him. And he said, and he felt Holy Ghost. And when it hit the person, they fell out. They, they got slain in the spirit. The people praying for them looked at, they didn't know what happened. And the person started speaking in tongues to receive the Holy Ghost. I didn't even know it. I just felt a surge of faith and felt to just, just speak the word and, and go somewhere. And, you know, God was sending me to another person in the name of Jesus. I just did what the Lord said and I walked away. And he said he felt the surge of faith and it produced, that's the gift of faith. One time I went to um, the windmill, the water windmill over here in this part of California. We have, you can drive up to this uh, windmill and, and it's, uh, and what it is, you put your water in there, you put money in there and it gives you purified water. And uh, one time we were living in Modesto, uh, Modesto, California, I went to get water and, and we were, you know, financially strapped at the time. So I had my nickels and my dimes and I'm putting my money in to get my five gallons of water. And I had one last quarter and I put it in and I, I heard it come out of the machine and hit the ground inside the windmill because it's like a little shack. And I heard it go, ding, 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 you know how when the quarter rolls around in a circle and then it starts to fall and I'm like, great. No, I'm not going to get my five gallons. And I looked and I stopped and I said, you know what, God, all things are possible with you. And I said, you know that I paid my money and my money's in there. And whoever runs this windmill is going to get their money. I said, so even though that little blue light is not blinking, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm going to push that button and you're going to give me all five gallons of water. So I said, in Jesus' name, I speak it. And I, I'm feeling the Holy Ghost just telling you this testimony. I pushed that button and the water came out and gave me five gallons. And the light didn't even need to be blinking. And my quarter didn't even register in the machine. But it was in there. You know, it's, it's things like that. And you're thinking, wow, that's an awesome miracle. And some are saying, that's so small and petty. Well, it, it's not small and petty or minute to God. Because God only responds to faith. And we've got to cover the small things before we can get into the big things. And I, I don't say this to be harsh, but we haven't even come close to touching the large and great and mighty things, the great and mighty works of God. Since when did any of you raise the dead? When did any of us part the Red Sea? Hello. I think we've got a lot of room to grow in the gift of faith. Amen. But just to go to show you that it's not about just physical healing. Because that's what people want. People want physical healing. Heal me of my pains. And then their favorite miracle is financial miracles. Or give me a job. The, you know, the gift of faith is much more than that. The gift of working in miracles and gifts of healing is much more than that. And we've got to unleash it. So here's the gift of faith. One day I was praying and fasting. And I was praying. And the Lord spoke to me and said... You know, my hand got hot because sometimes when the gift of faith is in operation, not all the time, but sometimes my hands will get hot, but one, my, my left one will always get hot. That's when I know, that's a sign to me, and I know that it's on, that whatever the need is, it's going to happen. No ifs, ands, and buts about it or anything like that. There's like no ounce of doubt or unbelief in the whole area. And the Lord, and that happened for years, and the Lord told me, how come you never asked me why did why do I make your hand hot? And I thought, well, I just never I just knew God was I was anointed. I just knew that God was doing something. I knew, you know, the gifts were in operation. I didn't need to ask. I knew God was doing something. The Lord says, No, you need to ask. How are you going to know what's going on? How are you going to know to grow in it? And I said, Okay, Lord, why do you make my hand hot? And the Lord says, Because whenever because you have the gift of faith, and that is the gift of faith, and that is a sign for you in your ministry. Whenever that happens, 
for you to know that it's like, have you ever seen people when they want to power up something huge? You know, it's all dark. The huge building is just dark. It's totally dead. And they grab this big old switch and they go, shh, shh, they pull it down, a big old lever. Shh, boom. And it turns the whole thing on. Boom, and pow, 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 all the lights come on. Boom, 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 and all this power surge is flowing through. And boom, 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 boom. You got a hundred stories all lit up. And everything around it is lit up. And everything is affected by it. That's what happens. You know, that's to let you know that I have flicked the switch. Boom. The gift of faith is, the tunnel of faith has opened up to you. So, I, okay, so then the Lord explained to me what it was. And he goes, let me explain to you what the gift of faith was. Because a lot of people, they would, they didn't, uh, many people don't know what the gift of faith really does. And here, let me tell you, read to you what the Lord told me. The gift of faith is a vital part of the church that unlocks all that God is and does. All people. A-L-L. -L, all. All. The gift of healing focuses on health of the whole human and is usually a process of time. The gift of working in miracles focuses on the instantaneous change or happenings in the elements of this earth and its atmosphere, including humans. But... The gift of faith is a culmination of both the gifts of healing and the working of miracles with an added dimension of operating in the spirit angelic realm. The gift of faith does all of it. It's all encompassing of all those gifts put together in one. In other words, the person who has a gift of faith, they won't operate like the person who has a gift of healing. The person who has a gift of healing they will operate in levels of healing, and we'll get into that gift later in the next couple weeks. And that's all they'll operate in. Gift of working in miracles, the person will, unusual miracles will happen uh, uh, in their ministry. Uh, if there is healings, it'll be instantaneous. Um, but they won't operate in the in too much in the supernatural or the demonic realm. Uh, that's gift of faith is what casts out devils um, or angels in contact with angels and other things like that. Faith does all of it. The gift of faith encompasses the whole thing. And it says, when the gift of faith is in operation, what God knows, says, and does will manifest to meet the present needs of the people at that time. This is why it appeared that the Apostle Paul had all the gifts of the Spirit when he actually had the gift of faith, which allowed him to experience most of the gifts at one time or another, as he mentioned in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13, he says, if I have all faith to where I could move mountains, but do not have love, then I have accomplished nothing. He says, I have all faith. That's why he was able to get in contact. And the gift of faith is allows you to pull any of the gifts into operation to meet that need. That's what faith is able to do. It can do it. It does all things. Okay. So he says here, the gift of faith unleashes God to make all things possible at that given time according to his perfect plan. Praise God. So we got to grow in faith. Okay. The gift of faith is no different from our life of faith. We have to grow in faith with God. We have to move in. Sometimes God makes us go through trials, tribulations, uh, um, hardships. Uh, sometimes we need healing. Sometimes we need a miracle. Uh, different things happen to us. Uh, uh, I was talking to one of my customers today who at one time didn't believe in God. But I think in the last 10 years, he's decided to believe in God. And um, he doesn't even believe in God to the magnitude that we do, but he believes in miracles. He, I go, you know, I go, you know, uh, Mark, some people just believe that, that God's miraculous is for yesteryear and not this year. He goes, ah, baloney, you know, and he said a couple other words too. I won't repeat. He goes, no, 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 because he's a farmer. He says, the other day when we had that harsh rain, I was looking at the Doppler radar on my, on my, um, on my internet and he, and it has color coding. And he says, when it's red, when the storm is red and it's coming, that means it's hail. He says that hail 
will destroy his crop because it'll knock the almonds off. Hail will knock the almonds off, and it's too soon for that. It'll destroy his crop. He'll lose thousands of dollars. So what he said was, he says, Oh, Lord, we didn't have a good year last year. Please bless us and help us so that this hail doesn't destroy our crops. A couple minutes later, he watched. He told me this today. He watched on the radar, on the internet, how the red split apart, changed another color, and went around his property about a mile on each side. Now, I know this was true because I was about three miles away from him at that time, where our store is, and I saw the hail bounce. And then I was there today and saw the almonds on his trees. And he says, he was like, oh, thank you, God. It went around him. Because he believed. And you see, that wasn't even the gift of faith. Because this man does not have the Holy Ghost. And these are the gifts of the Spirit. In other words, in other words, in order to have these gifts, you've got to have the Spirit. But he believed God. He had faith and God responds to faith. And so that's the difference between us experiencing the miraculous in our walk with God from the gift of faith is that the gift of faith is an endowment from God for somebody to bless others. It's a gift to give away. So everybody full of the Holy Ghost that's growing in God should, um, just by the mere fact of having Jesus, the Holy Ghost inside you, you're going to experience surges of faith. Just like you're going to experience surges of the prophetic, surges of healing, surges of, of, of anointed speech. Just simply by the mere fact that God lives inside of you, you will flow in these things. But they may not necessarily be your ministry. But for those that it is your ministry, it's going to happen more frequently. It's going to happen with great power. It's going to be the hallmark of your, of your faith and your ministry. The gift of faith is a gift so that all these supernatural miraculous things will happen through you for the benefit of somebody else. Somebody needs to be the recipient of that gift of faith, whatever is God is performing. So just like what God did for me with that water miracle, and there's many other miracles that he's done, that doesn't necessarily mean it was the gift of faith for me to use for myself. That was my own faith, walking in my own faith, growing in my faith. But it helped me in my gift of faith because it broadened the gift for me. So yes, some people say, well, that person has a gift of faith, so that's why they experience all these blessings. No, wait, wait, no, no, let me put that in order. We all need to experience great faith. We all need to experience powerful things happening in our life. We all need miracles. Amen. I've heard of people that uh, they, the river was overflowing and, and they couldn't drive their car across. And when they first drove their car across to get to a place to preach the gospel, the, the water was halfway over their, their tires. Now when they're trying to go to another city, uh, it would have drowned the car. But they knew they had to get there. And there's no way to get around. So they took off driving at full speed and said, In the name of Jesus! And the car rose above the water and shot across the water and made it to the other side and then kept going on the road. That, that is faith. That's not necessarily the gift of faith. The person that prayed that prayer, they've never operated in a gift of faith. But because God is using them for certain things, they've experienced powerful moves of faith. So you and I have got to have things of faith, miracles of faith, supernatural things happening in our life just because of who our daddy is, because who our God is. Mm, amen. But you will know a person who has a gift of faith because in their ministry, as they serve and minister to others, the gift of faith will surge out. That's like people who raise the dead. That is the gift of faith. People who cast out devils. That is a gift of faith. And usually people who have the gift of discerning the spirits, a lot of times they will have the gift of faith. And they will cast devils out. Okay? Um, awesome, great miracles. Like take for instance, Matthew chapter 10 verse 8. Show you uh, places in the Bible where the gift of faith is in operation. Jesus says, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out demons, freely receive, freely give. Matthew 17, 20. So Jesus said to them, Because of your unbelief, for assuredly I say to you, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, 
Move from here to there and it will move and nothing will be impossible for you. That's talking about faith. That's you, know, you can talk about personal faith there, but for per the person that has the gift of faith, this is for you. This is for me. We can't stay with a small seed. The small seed can make mountains move. But if you make it grow, you can go way above that. How do you think Moses part the Red Sea? And I mean, it was a huge ocean. And you got three million people having to walk through it. And once they get to the other side, you got millions of Egyptians coming in to kill them and pursue them. And then he closes up and kills all them too. That's a, that's a ridiculously awesome miracle. Want to hear another one? Joshua was in a battle. He was fighting. And he knew that if the sun went down, because the day was coming to an end, they would lose the battle. So he said, God, make the sun stand still so that we can have victory. And the sun stood still for the space of one whole day. The sun was locked in place for a whole day. That's biblical. Science, some scientists even say, as they study the chronolo chronology of time and the uh, time frame of man, they say that for some reason there's a day missing. We know where it's at. It's in the book of Joshua. Okay? You want to know what's more powerful? That's, that's faith. That's gift of faith in operation right there. You know what's more powerful than that? Is that the sun doesn't rotate around the earth. Joshua and them, back then, science only, uh, they were only, uh, their science wasn't as, as uh, knowledgeable as it is now, and they thought the sun rotated around the earth. But we now know that that doesn't happen, that the earth rotates around the sun. So that's an even bigger miracle because that means God, for, in order for the sun to stay still, that means God made the earth stop its rotation so that the day can freeze. Now, if you look at science, that's totally impossible. If the earth starts spinning, the earth will come apart, the oceans will come apart, gravity will go crazy, everything will just totally, the earth will be destroyed if it stops its rotation. So, we don't know exactly what happened, but if that's what happened, phenomenal miracle. Amazing miracle. That is huge. So, that's why I say we have a lot of room to grow. Let me move on. Acts chapter 6, verse 8, And Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and signs among the people. Acts chapter 11, Verses 24, for he, Barnabas, was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and faith, and a great many people were added to the Lord. People who, are, who, have, who have the gift of faith, the supernatural, anybody that comes in contact with them, anybody that comes around them, it affects them. It totally, it does awesome things to people. It just it, You can't fathom it when a person of faith comes into your life, it affects it, it changes it. It just does, just by the, just by their presence, there's a great effect. Jesus and the apostles, same thing. Peter used to walk, and as he walked by, they would put people out. That at his shadow, touching people, they would be healed. Gift of faith. Praise God. So Acts 9, 40-41. But Peter put them all out and knelt down and prayed. And turning to the body, he said, Tabitha, arise! And she opened her eyes. And when she saw Peter, she sat up. Then he gave her his hand and lifted her up. And he called. And when he had called the saints and widows, he presented her alive. The gift of faith, it transcends barriers. It, it goes beyond the comprehension of science. Um, it makes all things possible. When people say, that is totally impossible. Can't be done. This is irreversible. There is no way. Yes, there is a way. Yes, God can do it. Yes, God is amazing. Like I said, you can go to my YouTube channel and look at uh, uh, um, uh, the mustard seed of faith. Uh, my teaching on that. And we go deep into that. We need to grow in our faith. But those of us who have the gift of faith, we, we should see 
great, wonderful, miraculous things that, and you can't put God in a box. Well, God can only do this and God can only do that. Or God only works in a traditional church service. In the book of Acts, there's no such thing as a church service. There's just church, which is people full of the Holy Ghost going out doing service. And that's what we got to do is that God is unlimited, unleashed, and all things are possible. It's you and I that have got to fix our brain and fix our mind and stop stopping God. And let God be the author and finisher of faith. Praise God. So, let me read some more things here. Now, there is a distinction of the power gifts. Hallelujah. And uh, we're not going to be much longer. Um, I think we've said plenty, but I would like you to uh, go throughout the Bible, especially the New Testament. Go into the book of Acts and look at all the amazing miracles that God did. All the things that were just, just mind-blowing. You know, It's just like the Apostle Paul. He, they're ship, they're going to be shipwrecked. And he, and he said, an angel of the Lord told me that if everybody stays in the ship, we'll all stay alive. Because people were ready to jump off. <clears throat> and it happened. It's just amazing things. Everybody survived. They shouldn't have. I mean, man, he needed to abandon ship before it totally gets destroyed. So the gift of faith is much greater than what we limit it to be. Praise God. People say, man, where's all the miracles? Where's all the signs and wonders? Where's all? Well, it's, we need, we got to grow in it. It's us. We can't just point at one person and expect them to do everything. We've got to believe God. We've got to read his word. We've got to unleash him. We've got to believe all things. All things are possible to those who believe. If we're not, if, if, if we're dealing with so many impossibilities in our life, and we can't seem to get a miracle, it's a sure sign that we are full of doubt and unbelief. God isn't the problem. It's us. All things are possible to him or her that believes. we got to start to believe. I remember hearing Kenneth Reeves say, my grandma told me, or his aunt, or whatever it was, they said, if you'll believe whatever's in this book, it'll happen. But you just got to believe. And so he started reading where you could see angels and experience angels, and he, so he just believed it. And all of a sudden, guess what? He could see angels and demons all the time. Of course, he had a prophetic ministry and it tailed into that. But that, that isn't just uh, prof, uh, angelic experiences. is not just for the prophetic or apostles. It's for anybody and everybody that will believe. Hey, demons attack all of us. If demons will attack all of you regardless of what ministry you got, Angels will come and minister to you regardless of, of what uh, ministry you have. Because the Bible says that angels are ministering spirits to the heirs of salvation. That's you and me. But we've got to believe and have faith. We've got to have faith. Exercise your faith. If you have the gift of faith, exercise your gift of faith. The distinction of the power gifts, and it's this. The gifts of healing are for the restored total health of that which already exists in all living creation. The gifts of working in miracles creates that which does not exist presently and brings it into existence. It makes all impossible things possible with God. The gift of faith encompasses all realms of God's power, all, without the limitations of the two previous gifts mentioned. And it has the ability to alter or change the laws of the universe. It also affects eternity and operates in the realm of life and death with the ability to raise the dead. It is the dominating, commanding force in the invisible spirit world. Hebrews 11.3 says, By faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. Okay, by faith, the word of God framed the world, made the universe. So that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. Faith can pull anything God provides into existence to supply all our needs. Let me read that again. Faith can pull anything God provides into existence to supply all of your needs. 
And the gift of faith will empower you to do the same for the needs of others. That's what the gift of faith is. It makes it possible for you to bless others with whatever miracle they need. Now, I'm going to operate in the gift of faith right now. Matter of fact, the gift of faith has been in operation all day. And I'm also going to speak a prophetic word. I have a fresh mandate of faith for you. I'm going to speak it. And, and then we'll be done. And then I want you to later on receive it and, and get to praying. And let God let this sink deep down inside of you. Because God is going to do a, a tremendous miracle right now. An awesome move of faith. And let me read it to you. It's a fresh mandate of faith. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be delivered. Be healed. And also be empowered in the name of Jesus. God can deliver us and heal us from any generational curse or sin that has plagued our family. We stop all generational curses right now by faith in the name of Jesus. If we choose to embrace and obey God's word and faith with 100% commitment right now, you got to say that, God, I embrace it right now, 100%. I'm 100 with you. I want this blessing right now in Jesus' name. And Jabez was more honorable than his brothers, and his mother called his name Jabez, saying, Because I bear him with sorrow. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed, and enlarge my coast, and that your hand might be with me, and that you would keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. First Chronicles 4, 9 and 10. Receive this encouraging word of faith right now in the powerful name of Jesus. We destroy every generational curse, every sin, every demonic power, anything and everything that has put a damper and has totally messed up your family. In Jesus' name, we change it. We speak a word of faith in the name of Jesus to completely turn it and change it. And a miracle of transformation take place uh, in the name of Jesus, we speak salvation. We speak the Lordship of Jesus to do a miracle of change and that there be a new creation in Jesus' name. Receive this word of faith. Receive it in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name, I pray right now that those that have the gift of faith will be activated. Those that don't have it, that they will grow in their faith. And in Jesus' name, that they be activated and empowered and that they will seek you out, God, to grow in their gift of faith, that signs, wonders, and miracles and unusual miracles and awesome, crazy things that seem to be impossible become possible throughout the body of Christ, throughout this world. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. For You Have Diversities of Gifts, you can get this on Amazon.com, CreateSpace.com, buy it, um, uh, watch the videos so you can learn. Uh, it'll be on YouTube also. God bless you. Thank you. You have a blessed, wonderful night. Have an awesome weekend. Amen. God bless.